Michael Jackson's former bodyguard Matt Fids reveals heartbreaking, real reason for his nose surgeries. The world perceived Michael Jackson as a music icon whose looks appeared to change almost as regularly as his number one singles, however, a tale of agony and vulnerability lay beneath the layers of rumors and tabloid fodder, fundamentally altering the reality of King of Pop's venture into cosmetic surgery. Jackson's former bodyguard, Matt Fids, recently made an emotional revelation on the Stephen Sully Study podcast that shed new light on Jackson's initial desire to get surgery, a decision driven more by need than vanity. Working with the King of Pop for over 10 years, Matt Fids revealed the reason for the singer's initial surgery which led to a dramatic makeover that was closely watched for years. I N an account far different from the melodrama that frequently encircled Jackson's life, Fids revealed the crucial event that resulted in Jackson's initial nose surgery. The television personality revealed that although Jackson had his first rhinoplasty in 1979, he had always been made fun of for the size of his nose. Fids, however, stated that a terrible injury Jackson sustained at the age of 21 as a result of his unbelievable training regimen was what ultimately led him to have a rhinoplasty procedure rather than the taunting, per Daily Mail. Fids spoke with host Stephen Sully about Jackson's shifting appearance in a clip of the interview posted on social media and which had over 119,000 views at the time of writing. He used to get teased by his family a lot over the size of his nose, being called big nose and all of this stuff, Fid said in the clip. He used to say his dad used to be the main one, you didn't get that from me, you got that from your mom, you didn't get that from my side of the family, it hurt him a lot. Further explaining Jackson's decision to get under the knife, Fids explained, Michael used to dance about three hours a day on average. At one stage he was doing 50 spins in a row, it was unbelievable. He fell over and broke his nose and he saw it as the perfect opportunity while he was under anesthetic to just get a smaller nose. Fids admitted that he never discussed the reports of Jackson's repeated plastic surgery treatments with the signer, in detail, but he also acknowledged that it was obvious to everyone that he had had work done.